All right, this is third grade, module seven, lesson 13. And in this lesson, students are moving from measuring the lengths of polygons and then finding the perimeter to now they're being given the measurement lengths and now they're just calculating it. So it, it moves perimeter from something that we touch and experience to something we calculate and it just becomes an attribute of these figures. So let's get started. So one of the things we want our students to learn in this lesson is that perimeter is not just a special formula that students are supposed to memorize, that really it's an attribute, it's, a, it's like a definition, and then how they get the answer is totally up to them. So what we want our students to know is that um, perimeter is um, a description, right? It's the distance around your figure, whatever your figure happens to be. And in this case, it's a triangle. So it's like, okay, it's the distance from here to here, and then from here to here, and then lastly, from here to here. So it's the distance around the figure. All right. Now, and that's once you've given them, your students, the definition or the description, now it's up to them to decide how they get the answer. For example, in this case, 7 plus 7 plus 7 is the perimeter, but they could also have just as easily said 3 times 7 equals 21. And that's the kind of flexibility we want to see in our students, that we don't have to follow a particular formula uh, to get the answer, but we do have to follow a particular definition, which is the distance around that figure. For example, uh, we've got this pentagon here, and I can see that we've got a 6, a 6, a 6, and we've got a 9 and a 9. Now, we could add all five of those numbers up, but we could also do something like 3 times 6 plus 2 times 9. And we could get 18 plus 18, which is equal to 36 feet in this case. And so the idea is um, we have f uh, flexibility in how we get our answer as long as we're all very rigid in our definition that, oh, it's the distance around the figure. The other thing that makes this kind of like an attribute, besides the fact that we have these new ways of calculating, is that this isn't really six feet. This represents six feet. And similarly over here, this isn't really seven inches. It represents seven inches. So suddenly perimeter uh, becomes an attribute, a, like a, an idea, rather than something we are physically measuring with our rulers. Lastly, right here, our students, we, they have a lot of choices. They could do five plus seven plus five plus seven. Or they could say, well, that's two times five plus two times seven. Some of your students might even say, hey, wait a second. We can add 5 plus 7 and then multiply by 2. And multiply by 2. And for you folks who don't exactly see where that comes from, well, if you do 5 plus 7, that gives you this L shape. And then you can multiply by 2 because you have this other L shape, which is a 5 plus 7 on the other side. So that's where you could... Do your 5 plus 7 and then multiply by 2. So you have a variety of choices. So here's a straightforward kind of classic question about perimeter. These have been in textbooks since the 1800s. And the idea is uh, we have a rectangle which is 33 feet by 47 feet. And then there's another 33 feet and another 47 feet. What's the perimeter? Well, we have a variety of ways to get that perimeter. One way is we could say, well, we have 2 times 33 plus we have 2 times 47. So that's one way we could do that and get the answer. Another way we could have gotten the answer is we could have said, well, that's 33 plus 47 plus 33 plus 47. That's another way we could have gotten our answers. And I'm going to leave it up to the parents and teachers and students to come up with yet another way that we could have used to calculate the perimeter of Alicia's garden. And the last one for this video, we have Jacques 
and he measured the sides length, the side lengths of this shape here and find the perimeter. So what are we going to do? Well, perimeter means you've got to find the, the sum of all the lengths of the outside. So you've got 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3. So that's one way we could have measured to get the answer. And there's other ways, as long as you figure out a way to add and get the total distance around that figure. So the question is, Jock says this is an octagon. Is that a true statement? Well, what's an octagon? Well, the octagon is an eight, like the word octopus, is an eight-sided shape. So does this have eight sides? Yes, it does. It has eight sides. So I would say, hey, Jacques is correct. It is an octagon. It's not your classic-looking octagon, but it is definitely an octagon. And that wraps up uh, third grade, module seven, lesson 13. We are exploring perimeter, but now we're getting creative in how we measure the perimeter and how we calculate the perimeter.